Do you get acne? Do you want flawless skin? Do you want to know how to get rid of acne in one week? Then you have come to the right place because I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of acne in one week. This is a continuation of my other acne video. I'll link it up here. It's a continuation of that. I'm going to show you my updated skincare routine. If you have a good routine, you shouldn't really be breaking out as much as you used to, but I still break out here and there. And sometimes my skin can be particularly, 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 I don't know, problematic. Uh, you know, it's so much better than what it used to be, but sometimes it can slip back and i get a few breakouts and if it was back in the day when i didn't know what to do i would have left it and the acne would have just kept spreading and getting worse and worse and worse but now i actually i know what to do like as soon as i get this breakout i'm onto it i have a plan so i'm going to show you guys my plan This was my skin about a week ago. It hasn't been this bad in a really long time. And as you can see, I have a lot of red marks, a lot of pimples. My skin tone isn't very good. And I also get cystic acne in between my ear. And this is a week later. The breakouts have cleared so much. My skin is glowy and overall my skin just looks a lot better. And the only thing that's really changed is my skincare routine. But I'm also going to talk about a lot of other things you can do to help your skin in this video okay before we continue if you are getting really bad acne and you're not a teenager you need to find the root cause of it because you can apply all of these topical solutions and it can temporarily work and hide the effects but it's going to keep coming back and that's like kind of the same with birth control a lot of people go on birth control to treat their acne and when they go off of it suddenly it comes back so you got to get to the underlying issue is it hormonal is it diet? Is it environment? You got to figure that out. Otherwise, it's going to keep coming back no matter what you do. I can make another video on how to treat like the root cause. This video is not about long-term acne. This is like what happens when your acne resurfaces or you get a breakout. My plan for that. So we'll keep the root causes for another video. So pretty much as soon as I start to break out and I know my skin is going downhill, I make sure I have a good mask. I use three different types and depending on what kind of breakout it is, what my skin is feeling, that would determine which one I use. So I use the Teamy Blends one. This one's really thick. I've talked about it in my last video. If I'm like really breaking out, I put this one on. If I'm getting acne acne, like all over, I will use an Aztec clay mask with apple cider vinegar. If my skin is dry, and I'm getting like these little bumps. Then I use my Palmer's clay mask because it's very nourishing. It's not drying at all, but the other two are pretty drying. So I really like the Palmer's one. I found in high school when I used the Palmer's one, it actually resurfaced my skin because it has a papaya enzyme. So if you have like indented marks, that one's really great. But I will use a clay mask pretty much every day until my skin starts to like dry up and heal and the, the breakouts start to like get controlled. Usually this takes like two to three days, sometimes less. Sometimes it can be overnight. I notice an entire difference. So if you definitely don't want to use a mask for like over a week every day because your skin's going to be messed up. <laughs> I also forgot to add that I like to use the Ordinary Peeling Mask at least one time per week because that is really great for removing hyperpigmentation and also controlling acne, but I wouldn't use this more than once a week. Secondly, you need to have a great spot treatment. So in my other video, I talked to you guys about how I use aloe vera and almond oil and that cleared my skin up. I swear by it, I really do, but you know, there's a lot of other factors you gotta consider. Anyways, watch my other video about the almond oil aloe vera thingy. If you get acne, you start to get a breakout out, you need a spot treatment. I use two. So the first one I use is Oxy 10. It is 10% benzoyl peroxide. You can get this at Chemist Warehouse if you're in Australia and if you're in America, I'm sure you can find an equivalent, but this is it. You need to put something thick underneath like a moisturizer and then put the tiniest tiniest layer of this on because if you put a thick layer of this on your skin is going to burn off. Now if I'm getting cystic acne and I get cystic acne right here along my jaw I have like five, no I don't have five, I have like three 
right here and one right here. You can't see it because I'm wearing makeup. What I put there for cystic acne is I use cortisone. You don't want to use cortisone too much because it thins your skin out. I definitely would never rub it all over my face. This is a spot treatment. Pretty sure it's over the counter as well, but yeah, this is 1% hydrocortisone cream. So that's my plan with the spot treatment. Usually doing a mask and a spot treatment seals the deal, but we got to talk about something that is a game changer and this is what i emphasized in my other video as well you need to simplify your skincare routine you need to have an effective simple skincare routine one of the biggest mistakes i made when i was in high school by the way if you haven't seen my acne in high school this is my acne i had acne for maybe six years up until my first year of uni i was trying every product i would spend hours upon hours researching my acne every single day finding out a solution what I can do I've tried every product you name it every technique you name it I've done it I've changed my diet I've been pescatarian vegan raw all of that in high school and nothing really helped and you know what helped you know what helped when I got into my first year of uni I kind of accepted I would have acne for life so I stopped googling a bunch of products so my skincare routine for the first time in years, it was consistent and it was very, very simple. This is where I would like to introduce our sponsorship. Now, before you run away, you guys, this is actually a game changer. Like I've been using this company, it's called Love From Yours. I think they're rebranding to yours now. They look at your skin. You can upload a photo, their AI or skincare experts, they look at your skin and they figure out what products you need. And the ingredients so a lot of issues I had when I was in high school was and even now you probably have these issues but you don't know what products to look for you don't know what products you need and you don't know what ingredients you need or you may think you need da 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 ingredient but your skin actually doesn't need that and it might be doing more harm than good and a lot of products they aren't what they say they are just because Hiram recommends you use something doesn't mean your skin actually needs it or it will be good for your skin so love from yours they are seriously I'm blown away by them. Even if I wasn't sponsored by them, I would recommend them. I had a call with the founder, Navni. She said, what if there was a company which tailors the products to your environment and your skin type? Because the environment is very important for your skin. For example, I live in Sydney, Australia. It's very dry over here. So they tailor my products according to that. They also tailor it according to your pollution levels because there are so many factors I think people forget about that contribute to acne. Actually, it takes out all of the guesswork. Love from yours. If you have a simple routine, like you can create your own, but I do recommend love from yours. At least try it. I think it'll be very beneficial for you. It is entirely personalized for you. And you know, you can't get much better than that. And it's entirely clean. And love from yours is also made in Switzerland. So you're getting these high quality products customizable completely tailored to your skin at a fraction of the cost it's so affordable and they last like two to three months it's very good i recommend it let's get into my routine now okay now i'm going to show you guys my customized skincare routine and before we continue ignore the bathroom i live with roommates they're very messy anyway so this is the cloud factory cleanser i use it day and night it's very gentle on the skin ending of the ingredients i'm gonna leave it on the screen and this is a bounce back toner i also use it morning and night and you don't apply it with a cotton pad you can but i prefer to apply with my toner with my hands i always apply my toner with my hands and i just kind of slap it onto my skin i think it's a lot more gentle that way because when you're using a cotton pad you're literally just pulling at your skin Anyway, this is my PM cleanser because it's night time. It also comes with an AM one and you use it before you apply the cream they give you. Once again, I just slap it onto my skin. And in between applying products, I always wait about a minute until it completely dries and sinks in. Strolling by If I hear a melody 
Okay, these are my night cream and my day cream. So obviously right now it's night time, I'm using my night cream. I especially had it formulated to be super duper thick because my skin adores thick creams. And I always slap my cream on. I heard it from like a Russian person that it's meant to increase blood flow. So that's what I do. I never rub, I never pull, I slap it on. I get that blood flow going. And overall, I'm so happy with my skin. Like, look at that. That's a week later, bitch. I'm glowing. I'm glowing. That's my skin after using this customized routine. So, so if you guys are interested in that, you can use my code. You can use my link. Go try it out. I really recommend it. Even just try it because having a skincare routine that's consistent and simple it helps you so much. I think it's really like fundamental because if you keep on changing your skincare routine, like you're going to mess your skin up. You're going to mess it up. Additionally, something that I think a lot of people would neglect and they overlook and they might roll their eyes at. I told you guys about the importance of sleep in my last video, but I'm going to elaborate on it even more. Too much sleep, too little sleep. It's bad. You need to have eight to nine hours. And if you don't believe how important sleep is, I'll give you an example. My ex-boyfriend is the worst sleeper on planet Earth. He literally would sleep like either five hours or 14 hours. And his skin always looked dull and he looked so tired and he had like eye bags. I'm not roasting him. I'm stating facts. <sighs> My boobs coming up. I'm stating facts, okay? And he had red eyes, you know why? Because he didn't freaking sleep. And I didn't see him for about three weeks because of exams. And when I saw him, suddenly this man is glowing. His, his skin is beautiful and no pores, glowing. And I was like, what have you done? I was like, what happened? What's the secret? What did you do? He was like, I've been sleeping properly every night. <laughs> Everyone noticed a change. It's not just me. His mum picked up on it. Everyone picked up on it. This man just looked awake. His skin was literally glowing. So sleep is essential. Like literally, you guys need to force yourself to sleep. If you hate sleeping, force yourself to set a bedtime routine. I go to bed at 10, 10 to 11, and I wake up between seven and eight. Latest nine o'clock, but no matter what, I make sure I get eight hours. I need it, period. Additionally, if you randomly start breaking out, consider that you are stressed. And if you want to reduce stress, work out and meditate. Meditation is essential anyways for your skin. It increases the length of your telomeres, which over time is going to reduce signs of aging. Meditate, bitch. Okay, before we end the video, I just want to say that I bought chlorophyll today because I saw on YouTube that chlorophyll apparently is really great for acne. So if you guys are struggling with that, maybe try out chlorophyll. This is the one I'm using. It's Grant's. It is liquid chlorophyll concentrate spearmint flavor. I put the tiniest bit in and you really can barely taste it. It's just like a subtle hint of spearmint. So try this out and it's good for you. Even if it doesn't help your acne, it will help cleanse your body and detoxify it. Roman, Roman, vacacion. Mi otra madrina dijo que sí. Este de aquí me hizo llorar. Este otro me dice marica. Este otro de mí piensa mal. Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan. Voy a encerrarlos bajo la tierra tierra. Nadie va a comer, ir hambre, morir. Madre quiero saber, en verdad quién soy yo. Y sí, tal vez tengo un síndrome. Que alguien traiga mis pelucas verdes. Ten medicamentos rojos.